A new day is dawning. There's beauty and happiness everywhere. Jump up, destiny's calling. You and your friends have so much to share. Swinging through life on this great adventure, the spirit of nature will see you through. There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries. Lessons of love that are waiting for you. Look up, there's joy all around you. Nature is wondrous, but beware. The law of the jungle has a lesson for life. But you can still soar right up to the sky. Hold your head up high. Keep your courage inside. And sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover love. Mo the man cub. Mowgli, where are you? Boy, now reach up so I can get a grip on you and I'll hold you out. Hey, take it easy, lad. Come on. Up you come. Enough of that, lad. If you want that foot to heal properly, you'll stay still. You need a week or so in bed. Here, eat. You have to fill up your tummy if you want that wound to heal. Seems like you're not used to kindness, is that right, lad? Have adults treated you badly? Don't be afraid. <laughs> you're afraid of this. There, see? It didn't do me any harm now, did it? Here, eat it while it's hot. What is this human trying to do to me? Your tummy's rumbling, you're so hungry. I believe you're afraid to eat my food because you don't know who I am. My name is Wahar, Wahar the Woodsman. I'm the best woodcutter in our village. But I get restless stuck in the village day after day, so I go off exploring. Where are you from? I'm so hungry. What? I can't understand your growling. Try again, lad. Speak up. <laughs> you poor thing. You never learn how to talk. It's hard to believe. Well, never mind. We'll manage. I'll feed you myself. Mm. Huh? 
You're a stubborn little fellow, aren't you? But you're no worse than my daughter's boy. <laughs> and he's as stubborn as a mule. I'll get some food in your tummy yet. Just wait and see. <laughs> Good. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Feeding time. You'll be easier to handle now. I know that you're afraid, but I was obliged to tie you up so you wouldn't hurt yourself. Open wide, there's a good lad. Food! I've never tasted anything like that before. Plants mixed together and made hot. Don't tell me you didn't like that. It's one of my grandchildren's favorite treats. It tastes so good that you don't know it's good for you. I think you're ready for another bite. You have quite the appetite. Eat your fill, there's plenty. I can't imagine where the man cub is. I've searched the jungle for two full days and I haven't seen hide nor hair of him, though my instinct tells me that Mowgli is safe. Bagheera and Baloo won't like it. Feeling nicely. That's Mother Nature's medicine for you. I don't know what to do. Nearly time for me to head back to the village. I've stayed away longer than I usually do already. I can't leave you here by yourself while you still need looking after. But if I take you back to the village with me, we'll stir up trouble there. What do you say, lad? Any idea what to do? are like my mother's. That's the way she looks at me when she's worried about me. Hmm? I don't know where you came from, but you sure haven't had much contact with men. I'd like to teach you things, if I only knew how. What you have to understand is that there are different kinds of people. Some are like you and me. They live close to nature in harmony with all of her creatures. But some others are destructive. They like to tear things apart and make things ugly. They hunt for fun, not for food. It was that kind of person who dug the pitfall where I found you. <laughs> Why did you do that? Maybe I'm long-winded, but it was for your own good. What's up? They are the wild dogs, the dogs. Baloo said they don't obey the law of the jungle. They will attack anyone. Stand up now, lad. This way. Good, that's the spirit. 
Hail! I am Mowgli the Wolf. We be of one blood, ye and I. It's true. They don't obey the law of the jungle. Kayla, do you know where I could find Baloo and Bagheera? I'm afraid I have bad news about Mowgli. Tell me all you know. As leader of the pack, I demand your report. Me and my big mouth. They told me not to say a word to anyone. Don't play the fool with me. Chill, I want your report, and I want it now. Uh, uh, Chill, at long uh, last. Uh, Baloo. Uh -huh. It's about time. I gather that you stopped off at your nest for a snack before reporting. Well, yes. Never mind. What's the news? There is none. Mowgli has not returned. Chill the kite has searched and been unable to find him. Mowgli may be in danger. We are honor-bound to go to his aid. Mowgli is a worthy young member of this pack, the son of Luri, brother to Sura and Akru, and loyal friend. The search begins at dawn. said to him that Mowgli ran off. I'm sorry now. Lead him home safely. The red flower. All the animals are afraid of it. Fire's going nicely. Now we can have a little chat. Remember what I said about coming to the village? Do you want to? I'd be happy to bring you back with me, but some wouldn't like it. Some people will only put up with you if you're exactly like them. When they see someone who's a bit different, they make them feel unwelcome. I wish people were more like the animals in the jungle. Here it's live and let live. Thank you. 
That's very good. Listen, lad, I thought it over. I can't leave you here to fend for yourself until you're well. You'll be in more danger here than you would be in the village. So please come with me tomorrow. It's right on the edge of the jungle. I'll bring you back when you're better. Huh. Bagheera's doing, and Baloo, and Mother. Have they forgotten all about me? For you, you're saying the dolls are back. Clear out, you varmints. Mowgli the wolf, adopted son of Alexander and Luri, you deserted the wolf pack against the advice of your elders. So we've sought you out. You must now come back. Please come back. We've all missed you.
It's true, Mowgli. We want you to come back. We've been mean to you just because you were different. But it's not fair to pick on you. We're sorry. Please, Please come, come back, back Mowgli. Mowgli. Goodbye, my little wolf boy. God be with you. You are far better off than I. You live free in the jungle. <laughs> What's that? You want to live free in the jungle too? Off you go then. Godspeed! Just for 